नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी सिटिंग ऑन द डायस मिस्टर नवीन जिंदल यू नो हु इज नवीन जिंदल इज सरस्वती प्रसाद जी स्पेशल सेक्रेटरी मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टील मिस्टर बजेंद्र कुमार सी एम डी एन एम डी सी एंड फ्रॉम जे एस डब्ल्यू जयंत आचार्य जी एंड मिस्टर अंसारी सी ई ओ जे एस पी एल एंड ऑल ऑनरेबल डेलीगेट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस फॉर इंडियन ट्रेड एंड इंडियन स्टील एंड ट्रेड कॉन्फ्रेंस एजेंडा इज वेल डिफाइंड बाई मिस्टर आचार्यज प्रजेंटेशन एंड ऑल्सो आर secretary madam aruna sharma she also explained about the correct agenda of this uh, conference i am happy to be here with uh, this huge gathering of steel industry stakeholders uh, and i am sure you would all agree that now is a good time to be in steel industry as it is growing fast and steady as far as fast is concerned it is all right but for steady uh, the latest development which you have explained that global trade actions may be taken in past about 2 3 months and the future actions this is what i think that uh, uh this required your part of your deliberations when you discuss that how it can be study study on our side uh we say that now we are the net export country for the last 2 years but the agenda says uh, that this may be replaced by net import country for the after 2 years so this trend which is set by of course uh, not by india but by other countries uh, our concern is to see that uh, to what extent we as a as far as steel trade is concerned how we are united on this and now it is not the only trade which is concerned with steel but all kind of trade if we are to maintain a balance between import and export of all kind of import and exports then we must put our heads together to find out what is the best way uh number 2 position in the world in crude steel production is a near term possibility in fact for the first quarter of 2018 uh we were ahead of japan and i am confident india will be world second largest steel producer for the year 2018 so but agenda is uh, you know they are to set the tone for such kind of steadiness we have just begin to the second quarter of the financial year 1819 in the first quarter 
consumption of steel has increased by 8.4 percent compared to same period last year. This is after a demand growth of around 8 percent in 1718. Per capita consumption of finished steel increased by 12 percent. It used to be um, four years back 57, now it is uh, 65 kg per capita, that is uh, by the year end of 2017. In fact, in last four years, there has been a significant improve, improvement in all major performance parameters. Crude steel capacity in the country has increased by 31 percent from 102 million ton in uh, financial year 14, 2014 to 134 million ton in financial year 18. The production of crude steel has increased by 26 percent from 81 million tons to 100 million tons in 2018. Uh, we are performing well and it is very much double. Steel is uh, placed at number two among the eight core sectors as far as performance of uh, the financial year 17, 18 is concerned. So we only need to sustain and build upon this performance. 2018 is uh, going to be a landmark year for Indian steel industry. Let us all work in unison with the, the target of establishing a firm lead over Japan in 2018. As far as crude steel production is concerned, U.S. is also trying to revive its steel industry and will try to enhance production to higher levels. So. The race is getting interesting and challenging, but I am confident that all of you will rise to the occasion. Steel products on the major initiatives that we have taken up, one is uh, SRTMI as an umbrella body for all steel-related research and development and all kind of innovations in India, as we believe that focus on R&D is crucial for India to become self-sufficient and more competent in steel industry. Uh, another initiative that we look is uh, instituting first of its kind awards, that is uh, awards for secondary steel producers to recognize their performance and their contribution to the development of nation. Both will be taking a final shape in the coming months. And uh, uh, as you also know that 57% of the steel produced in India, and that goes to the credit of uh, secondary steel. And what they are claiming, when we talk of 300 million ton capacity and 255 million ton production, secondary steel claim that we may touch 70% of the total production when it comes to 255 million tons. Uh, both uh, will be taking, uh, uh, as I have already said, that this is for the first time we initiated uh, the Secondary Steel Producer Awards. Uh, this uh, may be the next month when a very important uh, conclave we are organizing under our policy, 2017 policy, 
and uh, this may be one of the events where we would be indicating that uh, trade, uh, which is an important factor for the growth of industry, steel industry, I must make a mention that when we talk of being self-sufficient, I give one example to that. Our budget of 2016-17, uh, there was, you know, as far as ex exports were concerned, <coughs> we were losing our position in exports uh, rapidly, especially these garments and all that, which are very popular uh, events for uh, exports. Then we pumped in 4 lakh crore rupees uh, in the rural sector. And our intention was when we are not getting, our industry is not getting sufficient uh, orders because of overall recession, then why not to strengthen our domestic uh, consumption in the rural areas? Uh, if a youngster in the rural area has the capacity or capability to purchase one uh, T-shirt, why he should not have two T-shirt if he has this capacity? So that we pumped in that much of amount and not only to see that uh, the rural economy gets strength, but on that basis, our trade should not suffer. Our uh, uh, production should not suffer. So that is how, if we compare that initiative of ours, this time uh, in our budget, there is a provision of 6 lakh crore rupees and roughly if we say that uh, out of uh, this 6 lakh crore, which is mainly for infrastructure, uh, at least 10% of the component, maybe of the, uh, which is to be used of the steel. So these efforts are not only to see that uh, the uh, efforts on our part as far as infrastructure is uh, concerned uh, should be expedited or speeded up, but also to see this kind of trend which is going on as far as trade is concerned. But this is the time uh, and this is the place, uh, this is the conference where these issues are more important. What I feel, my gut feeling is, uh, that as far as consumption is uh, is the area of concern, domestically, we would never be, uh, rather I should say that we would be touching 7 to 8 percent in the uh, in times to come. I mean, after a year or so, or two years or three years. So that that is not the area of concern. The area of concern is, are we uh, in a position to have uh, that steel which is required in the other parts of the world. One of the speaker made it a point that if we have that kind of steel, naturally, um, our, uh, we cannot lose the status of being net export country. But uh, <coughs> uh, there are other methods also which we decided and uh, our policy of uh, domestically manufactured iron and steel products policy, as you all know, is uh, succeeding in its objective of giving opportunity to Indian steel producers to prove their potential and capabilities. Foreign exchange worth rupees 5,000 crore has been saved as a direct outcome of the DMISP policy and uh, this trend will continue in the coming months and years also. National Steel Policy 2017 uh, 
has given a clear direction and road map to the steel industry with a vision of 300 million tons capacity and 160 kg per capita consumption of steel in our country. The ultimate goal of the two policies is to enable Indian steel industry to become more competent and efficient. As I have said earlier, gap between China and India in terms of steel production is a big, is very big, so it will be unrealistic. But as I mentioned, uh, to aim for number one in volume terms, but India must become number one country in the world in terms of quality and range of steel products that we are capable of, uh, our industry is capable of. We are uh, capable of attaining this position and we must work towards it. The first step being self-sufficiency in steel production. In addition, ministry is also working on two more policies. Uh, scrap policy to ensure scientific recycling of old vehicles and white goods to recover usable industrial scrap and to supplement, replace imports and all our steel policy to provide boost to the value added steel sectors like stainless steel, automotive steel, CRGO, electrical sheets and uh, other alloy steels. And uh, this effort would also lessen the burden of Mr. Vijender Kumar uh, because there would be less mining and we hope that uh, if we attain this, uh, we would be in a position to have a steel um, scrap um, about eight to nine million tons. And naturally this would uh, help us to keep our iron ore reserve intact to a great extent. Uh, <coughs> ministry, I'm happy to see that uh, Indian steel companies have made several new beginnings over last few years. World's longest rails, Naveen is also, you know, working on that and uh, only a few days back, uh, a delegation met me of the uh, association of, I don't know the name of the exact name of the association. Uh, they were uh, very much enthusiastic about this, that uh, um, this anti-junk uh, rail line, especially on the coastal areas, uh, their replacement takes place after every three or four years. And in the other areas, the replacement may take 10 years, 20 years, 15 years. So they were uh, saying that if they are given this opportunity, then at least 20% uh, of the rail line, which is uh, mainly in the uh, coastal area, that uh, would be of great help to the railways so that the replacement will not take place less than, within less than eight years. Uh, mobile apps, uh, uh, longest trails and coastal route for domestic transportation. Mobile apps for steel trading, taking steel far off areas in Northeast. e online platform for agricultural products are few of these initiatives. It's very surprising to me, and um, you may also feel surprised that uh, uh, industry is looking after agriculture. <laughs> but it is uh, just by chance uh, when one of our PSU started IRACAM in Northeast, they found uh, that there is a great demand of the farmers of Northeast states so they made sure that our this platform should be exploited. 
to the hilt and now we see that the results are coming farmers uh, small farmers ginger and all that they feel so much satisfied with the uh, with the use of this platform and we ultimately decided you may go along with this uh, your steel uh, uh, business but this sector should also be uh, taken care of by you so this these are the some of the things which one can't think and still uh, becomes useful i would urge steel uh, companies in india to make concerted and coordinated efforts to associate themselves with government schemes aimed at inclusive growth like pradhan mantri awas yojana you must aggressively market steel intensive houses and buildings you will get a new market for steel and we will move closer to our goal of housing for all because the, the three important features uh, uh, for the for one's house is uh, it is durable the completion time should be not that much lengthy so if you have the steel house you only things are to be erected that's all and also uh these houses uh, would give a lot of comfort to the poorest of the poor and if he wants to have something new he, he wants to dispose of that steel he will still get uh, about 50 to 60% Uh, amount which he spent on that so these are the schemes uh, we want to have that the state government should also uh, give priority to this and this can be only through you i mean um, uh, the steel producers and especially the integrated uh, steel plants they may have more influence on state governments to plead uh, that this kind of housing this count kind of houses are uh, better for the common man those who are uh, the beneficiaries under uh, an scc so things are looking bright and positive in if you see the npas uh, resolution steel companies are leading the list of companies being ahead of finalization of process banks are getting much better returns than they expected but i would still maintain that as far as uh, contribution i should not say contribution but the the secondary sector where npa are negligible rather there is no npa as far as uh, in in the uh, correct sense uh, banks are still uh, you know waiting in the wings to see that whether we should go whether we should not go uh, what would be the result of the npas resolution but i i must say that uh, the way uh, secondary steel has uh, is improving and not only uh, in quantity and all that but by putting up this bis standard for all the uh, one of the mention uh, in your presentation i could see uh, till now we have uh, put 86% of the total products under bis maybe of uh, integrated steel plants maybe of uh, steel uh, secondary steel so that also gives confidence to the banks that as far as their material as far as their production as far as their products are concerned um, it is as good as uh, the best product can be of any tata or navin or so uh, it will trigger major shifts uh, of existing trade flows of steel and steel products globally currently there is a trade war like situation in the world which i uh, mentioned in the early of my speech although 
U.S. decision to impose 25% uh, tax on steel production will have negligible direct impact as India's share of U.S. steel imports is very small as compared to other countries, but there might be indirect impact. The countries which are currently exporting to the U.S. will be forced to look at other major steel consuming markets like India to sell their surplus and is likely distort our domestic markets considerably due to dumping. Also, prices will remain under pressure which will affect the realization and export margins due to decrease in volume and prices of uh, exports of the companies. Uh, one of our honorable delegates, uh, he was making a mention to this effect that uh, uh, they had the best period for eight, nine months, but now for the last 15, 20 days, the prices have gone down to the extent of seven to 8,000 per ton. So this is, this is how uh, the trade is important. This is how this conference is important. Uh, this may be led to overcapacity at world level as also less scrap availability for India's U.S. companies may use the scrap in U.S. for itself, but I can assure you that the government of India is monitoring the developments, including our Commerce Ministry, our um, Ministry for External Affairs, and our Steel Ministry. We all three, we are monitoring and keeping a watch on the developments, latest developments, uh, and uh, will take appropriate interventions whenever it would be required. And uh, all of you are welcome to come forward with any idea on our proposal, at least on this uh, uh, current issue, which is a of a great concern for the steel industry. Your, uh, proposal or your idea uh, which can help Indian industry grow faster and perform better and the word which I used study let us together make and steal for make in India thank you thank you very much